1.4 million for Roosevelt Bowl, Rifco SMB Conference, Dauphin Industrial Acquisition, Rifco GDP, and more. Welcome to Weekly Wire Roundup number 75. I'm your host, Various Smith III. Pete Aguilar announces $1.4 million for renovation of historic Roosevelt Bowl at Paris Hill Park, San Bernardino. The Roosevelt Bowl at Paris Hill Park in San Bernardino, California is a historic outdoor amphitheater built in 1934 as part of the Federal Work Progress Administration during the Great Depression. Recently, Congressman Pete Aguilar announced $1.4 million in funds from the newly passed federal budget for the Roosevelt Bowl. In addition, the city allocated $600,000 to clear the area, secure the backstage, replace fencing, and address electrical issues. If you would like to find out more about all of the contributions to this Roosevelt Bowl and the funding that came to it, go check out the full article at the Start Empire Wire website. Entrepreneurs and industry experts together at the Riverside County Small Business Conference. This year, the Riverside County Small Business Conference will take place on the 17th of February, 2023 at the Marriott Riverside at the Convention Center. This conference is hosted yearly by OCIE SBDC to provide an unmissable opportunity for small business owners to learn and grow. The event brings together industry experts, entrepreneurs, and other regional small business leaders to share knowledge and experiences. If you want to find out more about this small business conference that's coming up very soon, go check it out at the full article at our website, startempirewire.com. Dauphin Industrial acquires Inland Empire Industrial Property. Dauphin Industrial, the nation's largest buyer of industrial real estate, has purchased a brand new 95,922 square feet industrial building in Moreno Valley. Inland Empire has the highest year-over-year -year growth of any region in the nation, solidifying its position as one of the most attractive markets for institutional investment. Dauphin Industrial is a pioneer in the last mile commercial real estate market and one of the country's largest industrial property buyers. They concentrate their investments on well-placed urban infill warehouses and distribution facilities. To find out more about this purchase by Dauphin Industrial, go check out the full article at startempirewire.com. The Inland Empire startup ecosystem industry is tremendously fragmented. A few top tier hubs, San Francisco, Los Angeles, and San Diego are well covered by media, events, and data platforms. Finding reliable information relevant to startups or the tech industry in the Inland Empire is extremely difficult. As a result, startups can't scale fast enough. Investors are having a hard time finding the right deals, and corporates can't find the right companies to partner with for their innovation activities. Start Empire Wire, the leading Inland Empire startup publication, is providing the Inland Empire startup ecosystem with the most accurate, engaging business and financial data, events, and news. Our reach of entrepreneurs, C-level executives, angels, VC investors, startup employees, key management at innovative corporates, and big tech is the solution for your B2B or B2C needs. As we build out our platform, we're looking for partners. This is your opportunity to get in on the ground level. If you're looking to align yourself with the local and growing startup and tech ecosystem of the Inland Empire, we have created the platform to get your name noticed and the opportunity for you to grow the recognition of your brand. Contact us today for availability and pricing options. We look forward to our partnership with you. Cal State University San Bernardino ranks among nation's best for online MBA and criminal justice degrees. Cal State University San Bernardino ranks 124th in the best online MBA program and 36th in best online criminal justice degree. The rankings are published by U.S. News and World Report, one of the most respected publications for colleges and institutions. The rankings place the online MBA program first among public colleges in California and fourth overall in California. To check out the full article about everything that Cal State University San Bernardino is doing and being ranked on, go check out this article at our website, startempirewire.com. Riverside by Design, five startups highlight. The Riverside State of the City Address was held on Thursday, January 26, 2023 at the Riverside Convention Center. Mayor Patricia Locke Dawson noted that the city of Riverside has innovative entrepreneurs and mentioned five Excite Accelerator startups by name. The five Excite startups mentioned are LV5A, Fotio, StarNav, 
Tech Steam Center, and Deep Bits. To find out more about this State of the City speech and the uh, startups that were mentioned, go check out the full article at the Start and Power Wire website. Riverside County's 2021 GDP is larger than 13 states, three main sectors of Riverside economy. According to the data of the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis compiled by EDC Valley of Innovation, Riverside County's economy is larger than 13 states and growing at a rate of 11.5%. From 2020 to 2021, the annual GDP growth in Riverside County was 11.5%, which represented the eighth largest numeric change of any California county, 10.8 billion. Riverside County's year-over-year -year increase ranked 33 out of 3,115 U.S. counties, or top 1.2% of counties in the U.S. for GDP growth. If you want to find out more about these statistics that are related to the GDP of Riverside County, go check out the full article at the Start and Power Wire website. This week on the Founders Podcast, we published one great podcast in the title was inspired and inspiring via the creation of confectionery treats with Diana Gomez of Bitty Bites by D. So Diana has been to one of our Founders Nights and she actually made some treats for us. We hired her at our Founders Night. You should check out this interview because she's doing really amazing things with all of these confectionery treats and her work is top notch. Go ahead and check it out and give Diana a call. Contact her because Valentine's is coming very soon. If you would like to be on the Founders Podcast or you know someone who is a local startup or biz, small business owner, we'd love to have you on the Founders Podcast. Go ahead to pod.com startempirewire.com and book your time. Now for the events. First event you want to check out is going to be the Black History Fair, which is happening Saturday, February 11th through 12th. And this one is going to be Ringley, St. Montclair, California. I believe this is um, in collaboration with the Black Chamber of Commerce Inland Empire. So you can contact Tammy Martin Riles about that. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested. Go attend. Second event you want to check out is going to be the Fontana State of the City, which happens Thursday, February 16th. It starts at 5 p.m. It's going to be at Water of Life Community Church. Full details for this event can be found in the description. Check it out. Third event that we have coming up that you don't want to miss is going to be Community Conversation for Black History Month. This one is happening Thursday, February 16th. And this one starts at 6 p.m. as well. And it is at the Council Chambers at Corona City Hall. And so this one is uh, put together with the city of Corona. Check out the event, bright event in the description if you're interested. Next event you want to check out and you don't want to miss is going to be the Murrieta Wildemar Chamber of Commerce March Mixer. This one is happening on Thursday, March the 2nd. And it starts at 5.30 p.m. It's located at Calmia Street in Murrieta. You might want to go to the link in the description for the full details because it's all there. Fifth event you want to check out is going to be the annual Layla Awards by the National Latina Business Women Association Inland Empire. This one happens on Friday, May 12th, so mark your calendar, and it's at the Double Tree Hotel. If you want the full details of what and when this event is, check out the full link in the description. Final event to check out that's coming up really soon is going to be the CBU Family Business Center Breakfast Series. This one happens on Thursday, March 16th at 7 a.m. in the Innovators Auditorium. Full details on this event are going to be located also in the description. I heard a lot about great things about it, and I do plan attending uh, one of these breakfast series events as well. So check it out. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the weekly Wire Roundup. We greatly appreciate all the listeners and everyone who benefits from this. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, send us your emails at info at startempirewire.com. We look forward to hearing from you. We really appreciate everyone who is listening in, and we also appreciate any feedback. Send it to info at startempirewire.com. Have a great week. Peace. This video newsletter is a roundup of articles, news, and events around the Inland Empire and part of Start Empire Wire, an aggregate location on the web dedicated to connecting you with the best startups, people, and events in the Inland Empire. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube and join our email list at startempirewire.com.